So now let's talk about throwing an exception. So even if your code doesn't really have an exception to be ex like an expected exception or error, we can throw one if we actually need one. So what we do, we raise the statement. And this is done with the actual, in the following way, let's just say. I'll just skip to the code itself. So let's say A equals one. There's no, there's obviously no, no, no problem here. So we're gonna say def, and that's, so we're gonna define raise exception. And it's gonna let's say A as the parameter. So in this exception, we're raising exceptions. So we're gonna say if, if the type of A is not equal to the type of character A, then we're gonna say raise, here's the raise word, keyword now value error. This is not a string. So what we're saying now is if A isn't a character or, or well, actually string type, then we're gonna say, well, it's, it's a value error that's wrong, raise the value error because we want a string. So, all right, so let's actually, and then, okay, since we have this error, we're, we're raising, we're throwing this exception, I mean, we're also going to try, we gotta try the code now, so. We're gonna try raising the exception, so try. So actually, we kind of made a function right here. With It's actually a function if you're familiar with functions from last time, so we defined it. This is the name of the function. And then there's a raise, the raise keyword inside that function. So this function is gonna check for this value error. So let's, so we're gonna try we're gonna try doing the function raise exception, as you can see, and then with our variable a. And then after that, we have accept, and then we have value error. Whoops, I forgot the space. Value error, see it autofills for me? All right, so actually it's supposed to be accept. My bad, not exception. So let's do this, so accept value error as e colon and then print e so we're going to say okay so we're going to try doing this running this function and then we're going to print out what would happen if there was an exception so let's do this as you can see it says this is not a string because it so this error actually worked but let's say this is actually a string a so let's do that as you can see, everything checks out. So basically, our code works. So we're gonna do that. That's this is not a string. So if we pass a string instead of integer, then we won't get an exception as I just showed you. But um, so another way to test a program instead of using rays, we have the cert statement. This statement, when encountered, causes the expression to be evaluated, where if the result is false, then basically an exception is raised. So let's write an example. Just erase all of this. So this time we're using, it looks like we're gonna have, so it's called assert. So as you can see, it's highlighted, so it's a keyword. All right, so we're gonna define a new function called def. We're gonna say test case. And then we're gonna have two parameters, A and B. You can space them out which to clean it up. So let's say assert A, less than b, a is greater, greater than b. So what we did, we basically, it's like we did everything in line as you can see with this. So um, let's do this now. So we have try and then we're gonna try, we're gonna run this function because it might be suspicious as I said. So quote unquote suspicious code. So we're gonna have test case with two and one as a parameter. So A equals two and B equals one. And then we're gonna say, accept, not exception, accept, and then assertion error. So assertion we are using, that has its own type of error exception. So as E, 
and then print, whoops, I forgot the enter, as E, as print, and then, okay, so here we go. Let's build this. As you can see, there's a syntax error. Oh, forgot the colon. As E, forgot the colon there too. All right, there you go. A is greater than B. So we asserted that if this doesn't occur, if this occurs actually, we're going to say A is greater than B. So that's basically it. So assert will assert a sort of exception what that happens. So if we reverse this around, oops, this keyboard is kind of weird. Um, as you can see, nothing happened because this checks out. But this, if, if this doesn't check out, we're going to say A is greater than B. And that pretty much concludes the section. We hope to see you in the next chapter.